The Islamic extremists are widening their threats, now issuing a video warning to Russia. In a clip apparently filmed in a captured airport in northern Syria, one of the fighters, seated in a military plane, addresses President Putin directly, vowing to unleash war on Russia's Republic of Chechnya. Threats provoked a speedy response from Chechnya's leader, Ramzan Kadyrov, who hit out at Islamic State militants on Instagram. He said anyone who dares threaten Russia would be destroyed and, quote, go to where his fellow terrorists rot, end quote. Next, let's get some insight then on this. We'll be going from defence analyst Ivan Elland. Hi there, Ivan. Thanks for being with us. Um, obviously, uh, the, the uh, president of Chechnya are not uh, mincing his words there. Strong words. But how much of a threat is Russia under here? Uh, probably not much. I'm not sure the U.S. is much either right now. Uh, this is a regional threat. It's confined to Syria, uh, Iraq, and perhaps part of Lebanon. Uh, they have You have to have a Sunni uh, population that's uh, been radicalized to some extent to provide shelter uh, for the fighters. And the reason that they're getting so much um, shelter in Iraq is because the Shiite government had been oppressing the Sunnis. Uh, if, if, if Iraq for, would be uh, decentralized, say, with uh, the Shiite government not no longer oppressing uh, the Sunnis, and if they were allowed to run their own affairs, they would probably do what they did with al-Qaeda in Iraq, the precursor to this group, and that is kick them out uh, using the force of arms. So mm. I think uh, this, uh, this uh, threat is contained right now. I'm not sure that bombing from the air is going to really have much effect. What you need is boots on the ground for counterinsurgency. But in this case, I wouldn't recommend boots on the ground of, uh, for instance, uh, Russia or the United States. I would say you, you need to rely on local people to the extent that you can uh, for neighboring countries. Because when other countries uh, who are perceived as foreign interlopers are occupying, uh, they almost get it, no credit with the with the population, and therefore they're not very effective in counterinsurgency. We've seen that in Afghanistan with the U.S. Uh, we saw it before with the Soviets in Afghanistan, and we also saw it with the U.S. in Iraq, uh, not very effective there. So I think you have to train up local fighters, which takes a long time. There's going to be no quick solution to this problem, but uh, certainly foreign intervention by the United States or any other country uh, that's not in the region uh, certainly will not work. Uh, you'd have to have uh, perhaps an intervention by Turkey or Jordan or uh, Saudi Arabia or Iran to, uh, de to defeat the ISIS forces. But just, but just a thought, Ivan, about this particular threat that's come in from IS to, to, to Russia, because it was addressed specifically to President Putin. Um, yeah, we've heard a strong reaction from the Chechen leader, but do you think the Kremlin will give a response here, or will that just be giving it oxygen? Well, if I would advise uh, Mr. Putin to not do that, I think you're not fighting terrorism if you're fighting it publicly. Uh, you have to do it in the shadows with special forces, intelligence uh, forces, uh, you know, that sort of the law enforcement uh, uh, forces. And if you're fighting it publicly, either rhetorically or with actual bombing, as the United States is doing in Iraq now, you're really not getting anywhere, and you're probably creating more fighters than you're killing. Ivan, thanks for your time. Defense analyst Ivan Allen there, live on the line from Washington.